Hey, what up good people? I am Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping through. I hope you'll enjoy this content. We'll actually consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. And if you're returning, hey Shook Muffin. All right, y'all. So I don't do these very often, but today we have a crochet installation. I kind of do these probably once a quarter or less. <laughs> like, clearly it's vacation time. This is usually when I do a crochet installation. Yes, when I'm ready to go on vacation and I need a very quick vacay style. Yes. So today I'm using these Zuri Sis Boho Curly V Shape Finish um, Boho Braids Crochet Style. And I got this from my local beauty supply store. I did look it up online as well. And it is 20, about $20 online. So I will link that down below. Feel free to check it out if you're interested. So if you want to see how I install these crochet boho braids, continue watching and let's just go ahead and get right on into it. All right, y'all. So I'm starting off with my foundation braids and I kind of already got started before I hit the record button on my camera. So my bad on that. But I am doing the illusion method where I'm doing the individual braids and connecting them in the front. And then I'll go ahead and do the cornrows in the back. So that's what you see me doing here now. I'm just parting out little sections and doing the individual braids. I'm adding some of my Let Shine Jam to the hair, to the roots and to the ends because my hair is really um, bushy at the ends. Um, I am trying to make sure my parts are straight for the most part, but it's not really that big of a deal to me. And then I just add that previous braid to the current plait or braid um, and just continue. I braid for about an inch, if that, and then I twist the rest of the way just to make my life easy. Because braiding all the way down and taking those braids out is quite annoying. So I prefer to just twist it for an easier takedown as well. I normally blow dry my hair before doing a style like this, but I just wasn't in the mood. I just decided it wasn't that tangled. My hair wasn't as tangled, so um, I just moved forward with the way it was as I let it air dry after I washed it. So I just continue this process, and this is what it looks like with one side completed. I got five rows on this side, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. You may see some imperfect parting, um, but again, that's not a big deal to me because you won't, won't really see it once the hair is all done. So once it's all crocheted, um, yeah, you won't see the, those imperfect parts. So again, I'm using my Let's Shine Jam to help with the parting. I just kind of place some in the parting area and then, um, you know, kind of helps get a straight part. But again, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I'm just continuing with these individual plaits or braids, as you see here. Um, I know some people like to leave, you know, baby hair out. I don't do that because it's kind of easy to grab my baby hair from the plait, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, I'll just kind of brush some of the hair out once I'm done. So this is pretty much what it looks like once I finish the entire front section. And let me tell y'all, this takes the longest time. It took me a whole hour just on the front portion. This is definitely a moment where I wish my hair was a lot shorter and this definitely encourages me to cut it because it would just make my life a lot easier if my hair was shorter. So now I'm going into the back with my cornrows. I um, have started my first cornrow and I'm just adding those individual plaits slash twists into that first cornrow. My first cornrow is usually my anchor cornrow which I go down and then around the nape of my neck. Um, so if I want to put the hair up, you know, I'll have I'll have that anchor braid at the bottom. This is also another moment where I wish I had someone I lived with that could cornrow to do this for me, but it's never a possibility. Unfortunately, my daughter is still a beginner braider, so if she cornrowed my hair, it probably wouldn't last. So this is pretty much what it looks like once I finish the back. Um, it took me 30 minutes to do just the back section. So as you can see, I'm hooking my, I'm crocheting my end braid into the other cornrows. So this whole foundation was a whole hour and a half. All right, so this is the hair that I'm gonna be using that I mentioned in the beginning. I do have it in the color FS1B slash 30. Comes in three bundles, 12 inches, 13 inches, and 14 inches. And then it has an extra bundle of loose hair to add in the braids as well. So I like to start in the back on my anchor braid, that braid going across the nape of my neck, um, just to make sure that that is completely covered for when I wanna put the hair up. 
I did crochet the back using the 14 inches and as I moved up my head I went into the 13 inches and then into the 12 inches. I did leave some of the 13 inches um, out so that I can also randomly place them in the front as well so that it wasn't just all shorter pieces in the front. That also reduced the appearance of the V shape. So if you really want the V shape, then stick to the actual levels of the, four, the 14, then 13, then 12, all 12s in the front. So now that I finished with the crochet braids, I'm gonna start adding this loose hair in just randomly in some of the crochet braids. Um, each piece of hair I did split in half and then I just added it to either the root of the braid or just somewhere within the braid. I just kind of changed it up. I only added the loose hair in the front of my head just to make it appear a little more full um, because the back was already full. Now I'm just adding some foaming mousse all throughout the hair just to make sure those curly pieces are nicely defined. Um, I only did this one time throughout the duration of me wearing this hair. And I also want to mention that I used the entire pack of this hair. So this is what an entire pack looks like. Um, if you want it to look a little more full, I would recommend getting two packs um, just for that fuller effect. And this is pretty much the final look, y'all. This is a very cute and versatile style, very easy to do. Um, if you wanna go through taking the time of those individual braids, you can get away with just doing straight backs as well. And I feel like it will look just the same. I just have a habit of using the illusion method. And so that's just what I prefer. But super cute look. I would definitely do this again quick and easy. Even though it took me an hour and a half to do my foundation braids, the crocheting part was only about 30 minutes, if that. So you got a, a really cute style in less than two hours. Again, it is a very versatile hairstyle, so you can do a half up, half down. I mean, you can do multiple stylings with this, and this is the reason I like to do the illusion braid method so that it looks like I have individual braids when I put it up. You can also do a top knot or the double space buns. Um, I also did a little side pony, so styling is limitless. So that's pretty much all I have for you all. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this crochet style down in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts. I thank you all so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.